Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliances, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliances. I only have one wish that this day would never end because I get so motivated by these amazing heroes. And that's what we're going to do, continue to do for you today. We just had on to, uh, we start off the show with the daughter of Rowdy, Roddy Piper, Teal Piper. We had on celebrity chef Mark Tarbell. We just had on the Barefoot Wine co-founder, Michael Houlihan, who sells his company, E&J Gallo. So wait until you hear who we've got next. First of all, inventing anything really takes a miracle. There are so many steps involved. And unless you've been there, done it, you would not even be able to imagine the amount of work that goes into it. Well, we have with us Lisa Lloyd. She's an inventor, and she's worked with many brands like Vidal Sassoon, Goody, Suave. You could reach her at LloydMarketingGroup.com. And, of course, we'll have it on our website, Eliances.com, E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com, because it is the only place where entrepreneurs align. Lisa, first let's start off. How in the world does anybody in the world think of something to invent, less alone being able to actually bring it to fruition? Sure. Well, um, they say that necessity is the mother of invention, and you're going about your day. One of the reasons I think independent inventors make the best inventors potentially is because they identify the problems they're going about their day and realize there's got to be a better way to do this. Now, you've created a number of products that have been on shelves and that. Share with us some of them. Sure. Uh, my first one was when I was 23. I just got out of the Navy. My hair was growing out and had that ugly in-between hair stage. Not that you'd know anything about that, David. And um, I put it up in a French twist all the time. The on-air talent were friends of mine and were frequently asking me how I did it because apparently the longer your hair gets, the more complicated it is to put up in a French twist. So my first invention, the French twister came as a result of those conversations. I cut up products in my bathroom and hair accessories and, and hangers and eventually came up with what I thought was a viable solution. Uh, began manufacturing, selling it at stores, and then ultimately licensed that one to Scuncy. It went on to do $20 million in sales. It was on the top 10 what's hot list for Walmart the first 10 weeks it was in the store. We changed the way packaging was done in the industry. Um, and I thought, this is cool. I'm going to do this again. Ha. <laughs> like when you were in Walmart and you walk by and you see your product, like, is that just so cool? It, it's a lot like seeing your baby go off to college. Wow. Yeah. I they grow that. up and now they're out in the real world. In fact, um, it's the first time I saw someone wearing one of my, I have a temporary tattoo company also that's carnival masks. The first time I saw someone at a, an event, it was a chamber event and the girl was dressed up. It was Halloween. She was dressed up as red riding hood, but she was wearing one of my masks and I ran up to her. I couldn't, it was oh very exciting. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Crazy. That's amazing. Now you are the owner and founder of Lloyd marketing group.com. Talk yes. to us about what this is. Sure. So Lloyd marketing group is the result of people calling shortly after that first success. I've done it seven times. Uh, with products where I've invented, patented, and ultimately licensed, and they wanted to know how I did it. So I began consulting uh, independent inventors, started the Inventors Association of Arizona, and as a nonprofit, also began working with companies on helping them innovate better solutions that uh, were disruptive in nature, and then uh, ultimately have been working with primarily the independent inventor on licensing. Lisa, how does someone though, like, I mean, the thing is, is when you envision it, first of all, is there a special place where you've come up with these things? Is it just out of need? Is it when you're in the shower? Is it during your dream? Where? It starts the minute I identify a problem. There's got to be a better way. I was on The Big Idea with Donnie Deutsch, and that was how he would always say, oh, there's got to be a better way, right, was uh, one of his slogans. And so you see the problem, then you're in the shower or in the bathroom generally, <laughs> sleeping. It's usually the middle of the night. As you're really ruminating on that, what? how do I solve this better? What could I do to make this better? Now, Lisa, the thing is, is that I got to know that, believe that there's a lot of products that should be out there that never make it to market. Correct. What is the benefit, though, of them using your services? Do you help them speed that process up to be able to actually get to the market? Do you evaluate it, whether it's worth getting to the market? It's all about education. So this industry, unfortunately, has a failure rate of 
5%. So less than 2% of the people who invent and try to patent their product ever make a dollar more than what they invested in it is how that's measured. Um, federally, in fact, it's mandated. So when you identify the problem and you begin working on it, if you don't understand the entire process, you're going to either underinvent, underengineer, or overengineer, and that's a common problem. So when they show up with, to me, they've already spent all their money and now they can't get it marketed, for example, because they overengineered, or they get to a company and attempt to license and find out that it's not, it's too big for shelf space, and they didn't understand how shelf space worked, so they didn't invent a solution that truly. Um, solved for each of the people who have to monetize it along the way, not just the consumer. Unbelievable. So well, education is the answer. Absolutely. And that's what we're doing here. We are educating our listeners with heroes like you because you're listening to me, David Kogan, host of the Alliances Hero <laughs> Show. Make sure you go to alliances.com. E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. It is, again, the only place where entrepreneurs align. In fact, you may have that golden ticket to meet Lisa <laughs> Lloyd in person at one of our many experiences because she is part of the Alliances community. In fact, Lisa, you were recently at our grand table. You've been to round tables and other experience and stuff. For those that may not know what Alliances is or have not actually experienced it, tasted it, been there, seen it, lived it, loved it, what's it been like for you? I went thinking it was another networking group and found that it was more like a family, a community of like-minded people. And I, I, say, I don't say that lightly because I know it's kind of a coiny, buzzy phrase, but the community there is, is rich and authentic. And I've also become a part of the, the, our version of mastermind groups. Um, and it has been incredibly encouraging and... I think has even helped my business in a new way because I think you go inner, inward to get better outward. And in many ways, it's fostered those types of relationships for me as well. What we try to do here at the Alliance's Hero Show is really to get to that story. And the story is, is about you, Lisa. Because the thing is, people say, well, she must have had a lot of money behind her. She must have had a solid background growing up to really have been able to be coached, to create, and to roll out a number of these products and to help so many in that. What's the reality, though, on that? So I was actually homeless at 16 and I found myself having to solve problems on a, like, how do you eat today? So I learned to be uh, resourceful in many ways and how to ask for help when I needed to, but how to deal with it when I didn't get it. And when it came to inventing and I identified the problem that needed to be solved and started working on that problem, I had also been resourceful about how to go about solving problems. So in this case, cutting up things that I already had, not going out and spend. I didn't have the money to spend. I was driving a car that cost $800 at the time, and I was a, a single mother and had uh, just got divorced and didn't have any money. So I was cutting up barrettes. I even used a toilet paper roll to make one of my prototypes, <laughs> soda bottles, whatever it takes. Um, but no, it doesn't take a lot of money. It does take perseverance and um, humility, commitment, grit. They say the nose of the bulldog is slanted back so you can keep breathing without letting go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I used to have a bulldog. That's incredible and stuff like that. So what do you have, what advice do you have for other 16 year olds that are out there now? And they're like, you know what? I'd like to do something. I'd like to make the difference. Heck, I have a number of ideas that I'd like to invent and this, that, and the other. And, you know, they're in a, maybe not in the same exact situation of you as being homeless. So they're already one step ahead of the game, so mm -hmm. to speak, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, what advice, though, do you have for them? For someone who wants to invent? Yeah. This is not something that requires, it's not like a degree that requires you to be at a certain age to get to the next level. You can do this at any age. And if you solve a problem for the constituents, the customers, the people who would use your product at your time in life, you're going to identify problems in that space that maybe your friends wouldn't. And there's a way to do it and pay it forward. There's a way to do it and get paid back. There are lots of ways to do it. But I think the most important thing is to try and do anything that you can to pursue the dreams, even on a small scale, so that you get stronger and better at it for when the big visions and dreams come. You're ready. Well, that's right. Well, pursue your dream. That's what it's all about. Lisa, you create incredible ideas and you help entrepreneurs bring their big ideas to market and grow their business. 
that's a hero, Lisa Lloyd. You can reach her at LloydMarketingGroup.com. This has been David Kogan with the Alliance's Hero Show.